feast your eyes on what they call the Liverpool pizza, the largest pizza in all of England. Can we be the first people to ever eat it? An appetizer and dessert? Ba 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 ba. Today we're at Amalia's Italian restaurant in Liverpool, England. Very excited about this one. We have a large pizza challenge. I think it's a folded pizza they call it. Possibly even calzone. But the menu clearly says pizza. It's huge. It's supposed to be the largest in all of England. Uh, we're a little concerned though the size of this. This is our first challenge of the day and we're not really warmed up. We're like two old guys eating anymore. We, we got to stretch, have something to eat, warm up our jaw. So we're gonna start with this calamari. They said this is one of their, their top appetizers here. So we'll dig in with this, get warmed up, and then the, the pizza will come out and we'll have that. <laughs> Once you see how big this is, you'll understand why we, why we have to warm up. This thing is enormous. The dough is very thick and it is just filled with stuff on the inside. It's 10 and a half pounds. That includes the weight of the tray. After removing all the extra items, the tray, the cutter, and the weight of the bowl of marinara, it's six and three quarter pounds. And this pizza is enormous. Good move with the appetizer. We got calamari. Not sure what that dipping sauce is. That's good. I like the texture and the breading's not like real hard or anything. Yeah, usually calamari is rock hard. My jaw was like kind of tight from all the challenges we've been doing, but just warming up with the appetizer. I mean, most people will probably be nervous doing it, eating food before the largest pizza in England. But we're good. It helps us anyway. You don't know until you know. Mm -hmm. That was good. All right, just the rest of that, we're done. Let me get my timer out and we'll tackle this pizza. Here we go, one hour to do this. I'm not even sure where to cut to start. Welcome to day seven of the trip. This is our 12th challenge, and this is the morning. I only had to drive about an hour to get here today, so I'm kind of fresh in regards to how I'm going to be later in the day. But this driving is wearing me out in England. We're driving all over the place. Uh, luckily, this food looks incredible. This is right up my alley as far as the best food I like to eat. So let's go. Corner is definitely heavy, heavily breaded. I don't often hear the word corner used with pizza. I guess it was Sicilian. Maybe this is an English Sicilian pizza. Whatever it is, this thing is so thick, it's actually pretty hard to cut and eat this thing neatly. Man, it's deceptively deep. I'm gonna take my time with this challenge because I wanna enjoy this to the maximum. I'm gonna try to pick it up and eat it as normal as possible. That's all guys, huh? Hey, thank you. Mm -hmm. They are very supportive. That was our waiter, and he was totally shocked when we ordered an appetizer before attempting the challenge. You know, I think it's twenty one ninety five. What does it say on the count on here? It has to be. There's so much food here. Yeah, it's, it's enough for at least four to six people. It's good. It's, What's that? Uh, yeah. To go. Finish yeah. the pizzas. Uh, <laughs> to, what, what's to go? I never had to yeah, go. I never have to go. <laughs> Takeaway. Uh, Takeaway. That's an English ring. We don't have leftovers though. Well, good luck. Hey, thank you very much. That was a nice couple we were talking to before we started the challenge. They actually took food to go. I'm 57 years old and never once had I ever not finished whatever food I ordered in a restaurant. But that's just me. I'm, I wonder if anybody ever did this before. I think it's undefeated. Undefeated? I think on a um, Thursday. On a Thursday? I'm, I'm 1230. I'm sure it's undefeated if they also had an appetizer. No, nobody's ever wanted the appetizer, hands down. There is so much in this, but That's what she said. it's actually, it tastes really good. Good luck. I'm not a fan of onions, but I don't even taste it. Though. We have one hour to finish this largest pizza in England. Honestly, it's so good. You really don't want to rush something like this. This is one of my favorite challenges I've done so far on this trip, and I am going to enjoy this every second. You see me eating with a fork. I am going to take my time. This is too good to rush. I know that this is officially called Liverpool pizza, but I like this style of pizza. 
As I work my way towards the inside of this pizza, it is getting to the ingredient section or the toppings, so to speak. Tons of meat and vegetables in here. This pizza is truly delicious. This is a fun video. Um, I'm probably good. I'm, I'm good right now, thank you. I'm glad we got that appetizer. We've eaten a lot of different challenges here. I'm not sure you know, where this is going to post, but this, I think this is my favorite one so far. I, mean, I could go without the onions, but I don't even taste them. I really got to think about it, but this might be almost a number one for me, too. As I got to the middle of this, this pizza is impossible to pick up. It's just way too soft for the most part, but I'm going to still try to chop up some pieces here, see if I can eat this pretty clean. All right, I might be able to pick up a little. Ooh, look at that. We need to list everything that's in here. There is a ton of sausage, cheese, looks like peppers, onions. Lots of good stuff. This is quite a unique pizza. I'm so glad I'm taking my time and enjoying the food in this video. I really want my future videos to be like this. So all my future recordings, I'm going to try to just take my time and enjoy it and see if I can come in under the time to get the food for free. And in this case, that's one hour. I really thought when they brought out this enormous pizza, there'd be something, something at some part, there'd be a major flaw in it, either too dried out or something, but well, that, that, it's that still going. Is, uh, we are in Liverpool, and it's probably one of my favorite towns so far. Just the way the, t the town's laid out, what we've seen of it. We've done all kinds of challenges since we've been here. We got roped into doing a lot of speed challenges. But I think just naturally, we both are just want to enjoy this one. Yeah. This this is to me my favorite by far of a for the challenge. We've had other good food, but this is just right in my wheelhouse. I love pizza. It's not your normal pizza. No, it's a different. It's Liverpool pizza. I really thought I'd be marinara with this. So I assume it would be really dry, but even this end where it's all like breading or, or pizza dough, it's still moist. I was surprised and pleased that they were able to cook a pizza this good. It's so hard a pizza this size to make it good throughout the entire thing, but this is really good. This Liverpool pizza might be the thing of the future. Have you ever seen a Liverpool, a Liverpool pizza before? I haven't. I never, I never even heard of it. It looks like I'm going to be able to finish my first ever Liverpool pizza well within the 60 minutes. Thank goodness we warmed up. I highly recommend that. Make sure you do an appetizer before you do any eating challenge. And also make sure you check out Brandon's video to see if he was able to finish in 60 minutes as well. Wow. That was good. Like I, I feel like a real competitive eater now older than dessert. Usually I don't have the capacity for those big eaters on YouTube. Yeah. Right now, guys, you deserve it. You win the challenge, guys. To be honest, and today is true that was a little bit bigger, I think, than normally, but... Yeah.